Uh-oh, you're running late for work. Again. And this time, if you don't make it, you might get a stern talking to. You can already picture your boss's big red face as you're swerving through lanes of traffic, driving dangerously fast. When the consequences of your actions hit hard, and you collide with a traffic light, your body smashes through the windshield and slams into a wall across the street. Miraculously, you're still alive. Congratulations. Unfortunately, you've broken just about every bone in your body. Okay, now you've broken every bone in your body. As you lay here waiting for medical attention, how about we run through exactly how much damage you've taken, how long the recovery period will be, and let's not sugarcoat it, whether you'll even survive. You may be surprised to hear this, but humans are full of bones. We are born with around 270 of them, although this number decreases to 206 over time, with certain bones fusing together as we age. Typically, broken bones aren't a medical emergency. Most of the time, they're about as straightforward an injury as you can get. All a doctor has to do is align the bones and set them in a cast or splint so they don't shift while they're healing. In some rare cases, it may be necessary to insert rods, screws, or pins into the body to help hold them in place. But for the most part, as long as the sections of the bones are properly aligned and you don't get an infection or something like that, you'll be fine. Once the bone is in place, the body makes a blood clot around the break, which turns into a soft callus, which gradually hardens into new bone. This should come as a relief to all of us, since the average person will break about two bones throughout the course of their life. Bones break when they're put under more stress than they can handle, and they can break in various degrees, ranging from a hairline fracture, which can be as small as an itty-bitty crack, to a full break in which the bone is just straight up broken into two pieces. Fun. The average bone break isn't really so bad, actually. A sharp pain at the moment of the breakage, maybe. A couple weeks of having a sore arm or whatever. The process of recovery is tedious, but relatively pain-free. Breaking all of your bones, though? Well, that would be a real pain in the a And everywhere else, probably. First of all, you would definitely need an array of metal screws, pins, rods, and plates to hold you together while you heal, which would mean extensive surgery. Opening up the human body comes with its own set of risks, to say the least, and it's no guarantee that you'd survive a surgery of this magnitude. Assuming you do, though, you would need to remain immobile for months at a minimum, in order for your bones to heal. You'd essentially be bedridden and inactive for so long that your muscles, and ironically, your bone density, would begin wasting away due to the complete lack of exercise. Also, with a broken jaw, you wouldn't really be able to eat, living instead on a diet of liquid nutrients. Mmm, liquid nutrients. Even after your bones repair, you still wouldn't be at 100%, though. Chances are, you might never be. You would need to undergo extensive physical therapy in order to get your body working again. And honestly, you'd probably also need mental therapy to help you work through such a traumatic experience. Fortunately, for someone to break every bone in their body, well, that's pretty rare. That's not to say there aren't real-world examples, though. You see, back in 2011, a 22-year-old father from Birmingham, England, broke almost every bone when he fell from the ninth story of an apartment building. While he was lucky to survive the 100-foot drop, he needed drastic surgery to fix his shattered ankles, pelvis, arms, heels, and jaw. However, he was out of the hospital and reunited with his son just three months later. Some people are also more prone to breaking bones than others, and may break every bone in their body over the course of their lifetime. Having weak bones is a condition known as osteoporosis, which means porous bones. A six-year-old girl named Zoe from Huntington Beach, California was diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfecta, an extreme version of the disease caused by a genetic mutation that affects just about one in every 50,000 people. Zoe's case is so bad that she can break a rib just by sneezing, so she has to be really careful navigating the world. Her doctor said she broke over 100 bones by her first birthday. As far as the Guinness Book of World Records is concerned, though, America American daredevil Evil Knievel holds the record with most broken bones at 476. In all honesty though, if you literally broke every single bone in your body at the same time, a full recovery would be next to impossible. Breaks to the spinal column, for example, would render you at least partially paralyzed for life. It would be a miracle if all of your vital organs were okay and equally miraculous that whatever accident you had just broke your bones in didn't straight up shudder them beyond repair. So the next time you're running late for work, just take it on the chin, okay? So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to throw us a like and subscribe. For more information on bones, breaks, and other brilliant bodies, head on over to the Brainiac YouTube channel now. See you later, Brainiacs.